Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how I did this leopard print wig, cheetah print. I don't really know the difference, but I'm gonna show y'all how I did this start to finish. So how I dyed it, the install, styling, everything. And then I'm gonna give y'all a review of the wig itself at the end. So yeah, y'all, I haven't done a video like this in a while, like a fun little wig, like a dyed wig. The last time I did this, I believe was the zebra print or tiger print rainbow wig. But yeah, y'all, I think this one turned out super cute. And y'all see, I got my all leopard on. I was actually filming this video for a contest that I'm entering on TikTok to become a brand ambassador for this black owned woman owned wig company so yeah i really appreciate it if y'all go and tag her in the tiktok this hair is from believe in hair that's the name of the company the owner's name is sarah so yeah y'all make sure y'all go tag her in my tiktok for me but y'all yeah, anyway if y'all want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching all right y'all so we're going to start with the unboxing first of all let's get into this packaging gorgeous just wait i'm gonna open it up boom like how cute is that? The girls on the front. Yes, I love that. I love the packaging. And then we have the wig. We'll come back to her. But as far as the goodies, we have an edge brush. We also have some HD wig caps. I think there's two in there. Um, and then we also have the elastic band, the melt band. It says believe in hair across the front. How cute. And then she also gave a drawstring satin bag to store your wig in and all your supplies if you want after you take your wig off. Love those. And she even provided a Believe in Hair bonnet. Like how cute is that? With the logo on it, it's one of the adjustable bonnets that you pull the string. Love it. I love when you can tell the company put effort into their packaging. And then she also gave a thank you card with the socials on the front and care instructions also on the other side. And that's everything that came in the box. So onto the wig, obviously it came in this plastic bag. I got the straight 20 inch. This is the wig in the style cat, the straight ash blonde wig, 180% density, 13 by four lace. It came with a hairnet and some stuffing on the inside. And this is what she looks like straight out of the bag. So boom, onto the construction. You see we have three combs in the front, a comb in the back here. We have adjustable straps also in the back and lace and this elastic band that has a little grippies on it so it doesn't slide around and you can adjust that also. And then this is what the lace and hairline looks like against my skin. I think it looks really good. You don't even have to do anything to it. I didn't pluck it. I did tone the knots though, but we'll get to that. And you honestly can get away with not doing that. Just put some makeup on it. So onto the dyeing process, I went ahead and did the middle part because that's how I was going to wear it. So you wanna go ahead and part it where you're gonna wear it so your spots lay where you want them to when you get ready to put it on. So the hair dye I use for the spots is Honey Brown by Adore and I use the Kiss Colors hair dye in black for the outside of the spots. Um, this is the brush I'm using and you're gonna need two brushes and two mixing bowls, one for the brown hair dye and one for the black. So as you can see, I'm just placing the brown hair dye first. I'm just doing the center of the spots. And the good thing about this style is the spots don't have to be perfect. Like they can be kind of messy, I guess, like because they're not perfect circles or like perfect shapes or anything. So you can kind of just place them how you want to. And you're just going to do that all over the wig. Just put the spots wherever you want to put them at. I try to do some closer to the roots also and to the front of the hair, but just do it all over wherever you want them. I definitely think I could have gone a little smaller with my spots, but I still think it came out cute, but yeah, you're just gonna do this all over. And now we're gonna go in with the black hair dye and go along the outside of those brown spots that we put. Again, these aren't perfect shapes either. So you can just kind of go around the whole spot. You can do like a misshapen crescent on each side of a spot. You can even just pull up a leopard print pattern and follow that and you'll see like how simple it is and how imperfect the shapes are. So you can just kind of be free with it. But yes, you're going to do this all over your wig or if you want to do half of the wig and leave the other half just blonde or whatever you want to do, you're just going to do those spots until you're satisfied with the placement of them. I do go back and add some more in between my spots that I've already put, but yeah. So now I have all my spots done. So this is what it looks like so far. And then I ended up leaving mine overnight. 
and this is what it looked like the next day it's completely dry so i'm gonna go ahead and tone my knots just so i don't have to wash the wig tone the knots and wash it again so i'm taking my aussie moist conditioner and the honey brown adore hair dye you can use any white conditioner i got this tip from slate by jordan this is about how much conditioner i use and then you'll see how much of the honey brown hair dye i add to tone the knots brown and this is just to help the knots blend better with my skin color so yeah now y'all see how much of the hair dye i added you're just going to mix that in and you want this greenish looking color by the time you mix it all together so now i'm just taking my brush and just applying it to the inside of the lace right where the knots are this is if you were bleaching knots so I left this on for about 20 minutes. I know in the video I watched by Slate by Jordan, he said 10 minutes, but the girl he was applying the wig to was a lighter skin complexion than me. So he said to leave it on longer if you need it to be darker. So that's why I did 20 minutes. So after that, I went ahead and washed the wig completely, washed all the hair dye out and everything off of the lace. I used the Tresemme Moisture Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is the amount of shedding I had. Now that is really good for 613 hair because y'all know 613 sheds pretty bad. And that's all I got from washing it. So now I'm gonna go in with my bio silk and blow dry it. That That's all I'm using. Y'all saw the amount that I poured out. That's it, you don't need no more than that. So after I've applied that, I'm going to blow dry on warm. And this is what we had at this point. So now I'm gonna get ready to install it. So as usual, I'm gonna take some makeup and mark where the hairline stops or where I should stop with the lace adhesive that I'll be using. For this install, I won't be using any glue. I'm gonna use the Kiss Colors and Care Lace Bond Adhesive Spray, and I'm using the Hold Level 9. So now I'm going to take my rat tail comb and just press the lace into the adhesive just like you would with glue. It's the same concept. So once I've done that, I'm going to take the hair, clip it up out of the way so we can apply the melting band, elastic band, whatever you want to call it to melt the lace. And now I'm going to blow dry that area on hot until that adhesive is dry, which usually is about eight to 10 minutes. Now that it's dry, I'm going to remove it and then we're going to cut the lace off. So now I'm just taking some alcohol and cleaning that makeup off my forehead before we go back in and spray some more of the lace adhesive around the hairline again because we do have some areas that we're lifting a little bit and we're going to tie it down one more time and blow dry it just like we just did. All right, so now we are completely melted. So now I'm just taking 
the comb side of an edge brush to loosen up the hairs that kind of got stuck down from the lace spray when I tied it down. And then we'll be good to go for styling. So for styling, I'm going back in with the bio silk just like we did when we blow dried it. And I'm applying that all over the hair again before I flat iron it. I'm using the Babyliss Pro flat iron. And then I'm also going in with a wax stick right at the root and like the top area just to keep those flyaways down. And I'll be hot combing over that section when I get to it. So yeah, I'm just going to let y'all watch the rest of this portion of the video of me styling it. And then we'll move on to the review. So now I'm going to take some makeup and put in the part. I'm using the Ruby Kisses foundation in the color 13. And that will be it for styling. Alright y'all, so the wig is done and styled. It's so cute. I love it. I love how it turned out. I love it with the outfit, the leopard print. I got on all leopard. You and my shoes. Y'all can't see them, but yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures. So y'all go like those on Instagram. But yeah, so y'all just saw the unboxing, the dyeing, toning the knots, and install and styling. So now I'm gonna give y'all my review on the wig itself. Alright, so y'all already know. I don't know if it's big head friendly or not. She is big head friendly. I thought the hairline wasn't going to go past my hairline. Like, you know how those wigs that come, you pull one side and the hairline be back here on the other side. It don't matter which way you pull it. It's the hairline's going to be back on one side. And it's not even or going past your hairline on either side. I thought I was going to have that problem. But yeah, I just had to readjust it. I don't know how I was putting it on the first time. But once I readjusted how I was putting it on, then it went on right. So I don't know what I was doing, but yeah. So no problem there, she is big head friendly. So as far as the dyeing, I feel like it took really well to the dye and me toning the knots. I didn't have any problems with a whole bunch of shedding or nothing after doing that. And also when I washed it, I think I showed y'all how much shed hair I got when I dyed it, toned the knots and washed it out. And for a 613 wig, for that little amount of shedding, barely anything, that is really good. Like y'all know 613, well, if you don't know, 613 sheds so bad and don't let you dye it don't let you dye it or do nothing else to it it sheds so bad 613 hair can be so messy but i'm glad that i didn't have a problem with that with this wig so the shedding is like little to nothing so yeah very minimal shedding no tangling for real this is a straight unit so i mean i really didn't expect any tangles but yeah no tangling i got a 20 inch i believe i feel like it is giving that i'll stand up so y'all can see 
I feel like it's giving 20 inches. I love the length on it. The density is a very natural, not super thick density. She does have a thicker option on the website. There is a thicker option on there, but I think this one is fine for, like I said, like a more natural density, like nothing too much. But if you like your hair super full, I definitely recommend getting the higher density option that she does offer. The lace, I had no trouble with the lace melting. The lace melted super well. Um, and I just used lace spray. I didn't even glue it down. I just used the Kiss Colors and Care lace bond spray because you know we don't do even no more we don't do that so yeah that's what i use now for my lace spray is the kiss colors and care lace bond spray i did do a review on that spray i believe a couple months ago so y'all can go check that out if you want more detail about it it straightened really well i didn't have no issues with it like doing anything funky when i straightened it y'all know how 613 hair can be so no issues with putting heat on it or hot combing it or blow drying it nothing so yeah, y'all, I really don't think there's anything else to say. I love the wig, but I do wish it was just a tad fuller. It's not too much of an issue, but like, that would be like my only thing, like if I had to change anything about the wig. For this density though, I wish it was a little bit more full. I honestly love it though. It's giving bone straight. It flows very nicely. It's not giving stiff. I love it and I love how the color came out. I love this little pattern. I want to do something fun. I bought this outfit, this leopard outfit months ago because I wanted to do a look like this with leopard print hair and I never did it. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity for me to do it, to enter this contest. And yeah, and I'm all for it. I love it. This is a woman owned company, if I didn't mention, and black owned on top of that. Gotta support the girls. Yeah, y'all. I love this wig. I love how it came out, especially with the outfit really pulled it together. I just love it. Yeah, I thought it was a little fun thing to do, especially being that leopard is kind of trendy right now, cheetah print. So yeah, y'all, overall, I'm gonna give this unit a nine out of 10. If you want to purchase this unit for yourself, the link will be in the description box below, as well as all the information, length, density, all of that if you're interested and again don't forget to go tag sarah be living in my tiktok for the contest fingers crossed i really hope i win because i would love to be a brand ambassador especially for a black owned company like come on what better way what better route to take because y'all know these these overseas companies the the wig girls know some of y'all that don't do wigs or like or you're not a wig influencer y'all may know too they be playing and they really be trying it and then you know the whole stunt with you niece or you nice or however you want to say it and um even with the whole racist stuff and we the ones that fund y'all for real like we the ones put money in y'all pockets for real like y'all won't be nothing without the black girl so yeah i would love to be a brand ambassador for a black owned wig company that's just like it's nothing better it's nothing better so yeah y'all that is it i just want to sit here and look at this like this is so cute so fun yeah y'all at this point i'm rambling off and shut up so that is it for this video you guys hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye